sorry guys i i uh have but again this is part two um because they know that you know their t their tricks and tactics see one thing with cluster b personalities is they have this ability to tether a cord to you kind of like when we used to play telephone uh with car with a uh, uh, toilet paper tubes and a string of wire or a can and a string of wire right and the vibration would for that from one uh, one person who was talking through the can would go through that wire and over to the other person. Okay. Pardon me. So that's, that's what the cluster B personality has to do. It's not, sometimes it's not a trauma bond and people overuse that and, and use it for everything because why they're not coming from a deeper level. That's why I keep telling you guys, this is what makes me a, 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 a an effective coach, transformational coach, is that I am going from the spiritual, physical, mental, emotional, you know, and I'm, I'm from all sides because I have willingly experienced it. Because with me, I have always liked to get to the root. I want to know where the head of the snake is so I can cut it off. I've always been like that. Show me where the head of the snake is. Right? Because that's how my bloodline takes care of business. Okay? So anyway, um, and I was, so I was telling mom, I was like, gosh, you know, it's like, it's just amazing. Cause I was going over like when I, cause I was being, I was feeling a little bit depressed. I was like, I don't even know what to do anymore. Right? Cause I said, I'm still being attacked when I wake up. So when I wake up, I, sometimes it's, it's like, I get forget, I'm forgetting. I'm like, I feel like I just, uh, something's missing from me. I'm like, what did they take now? Right? I'm like, what did these people, these demons just take? Because when they can't get you in the physical Phoenix is rising, they will go after you when you are more vulnerable and it, which is in the dream state. So as I said, these guys with well, these cluster B personalities from a spiritual perspective, from an energetic per perspective are, are tying themselves to you. Now, some, some tie themselves to you for various reasons and they, it may seem harmless because all they're doing is siphoning energy from a distance. And it can be done, especially from somebody who has some stamina right? Has built up some, some strength over the years of successfully attaching, you know, a, a tether or, a, or a toxic cord to an unsuspecting empath who thinks, okay, this is over, but they're still draining your energy. So you may get bouts of being tired and you don't know where it's coming from. So reflect Phoenixes, who did you kick to the curb that was an energy vampire and that you thought, because a lot of times we think, oh, well, if I just get away from them, it'll be okay. Like I'm away from these people. One is in San Francisco. The other one's like an hour away in another, you know, two, three hours away in another city, I believe. Okay. So I'm away from these people and I don't head towards them. I actually had the succubus show up at the hotel, but my, my vision was cloudy. So here's what was happening. It's like, I could, I reckon. So here's the real part of me sees, recognizes the car because she spent, a, she spent months stalking me everywhere I went because I rejected her because God was like, no, this is a succubus. All right. I did that. Basically mama was like, Hey, I just wanted you to know what a succubus is and what they feel like energetically, what their tactics are. Da, 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 da. I was like, okay. Cause I'd never really felt one like this. I'd never had that experience. So that's what this perp this was for was a training. This person didn't let go though to the point where is again, she was stalking me. She was having people come up to my hotel room and knock on the door because I was talking to friends or anybody I would talk to. So her whole goal was to keep me stuck, was to keep me un to, not to, not to have any sex, not to have any partners, not to have any friends, not to have anything. Right. I was literally 
from her perspective, uh, what I was supposed to do was just to stay there and wait for her to grow up, wait for her to have her cake and eat it too, get her fill, and then come on over to me. She was ignoring the fact, which most cluster B personalities do, most covert narcissists or overt narcissists don't give a shit about your feelings. They don't care about your boundaries. This person having psychic abilities knew full well that I was not attracted to them. Knew full well. Both of these pe creatures knew that I was not attracted to them, but they were trying to, they were going to force themselves on me anyway. We call that rape. When you force yourself onto somebody else to the point where you are willing, if they don't capitulate, if they don't, um, Ex, you know, accept you that you're going to try and have them killed. You can't, I mean, like the, you would think that, to, you know, the killing, saying that you're going to off somebody, because that's what I heard her say. She was trying to get this man that I had had, uh, uh, I had, had eyes on my spidey senses was like something's up because this guy keeps parading himself around or whatever. And, uh, I'd have to let him know you better knock it off. You know, it's not going to end up pretty because I am, I will protect myself by any means necessary. I am a child of God and you were under my feet and you know that you have no legal, legal binding, no legal authority in the spiritual realm of any kind, right? Because they do not. So sometimes phoenixes, depending on the desperation and just the environment that you're in, and the type of, you know, is going to be the type of warfare that you're going to be subjected to, or you're going to be, ex you know, you're going to expose, be exposed to is, you know, and, and so this, you know, these guys know, no, you're not supposed to. So this guy, basically she was getting the succubus was, was trying, was, had done something with this guy because the next day he was apologetic. When I saw him that night, all, I, I, I heard his thoughts and all he could think about was kill, 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 kill. That's what he was saying in his mind. Kill, 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 kill. That's what I heard. Because I had called the cops on him. I was like, I'm not going to deal with you like this. I said, it's time for me because see, I'm royalty. I don't have to. You're royalty, phoenixes. You don't have to... Get, go down to the level of an imp, a demonic imp. Play chess, not checkers. My spiritual mom kept telling me back in the day and I didn't understand because I had a lot of stamina. I had a lot of flexibility. I was agile. I was, you know, superhuman strength. I was very strong for, for my age and gender. And one thing that I know that I do know if some of you are going through this is the more interaction that you have with demonic uh, creatures, the more that they will siphon, you know? So it's and it, to get you, I mean, they're siphoning, they are siphoning you. So like a lot of that strength, it's like I've had to rebuild, right? But I would, that, that was another conversation that I was having with mama God was like, look, I keep rebuilding, dude. And I am, I'm not around these people. I am healthy and emotionally and spiritually mature enough to know that to get away from people who are energy vampires, who are cluster B personalities, you know, who are narcissists, uh, who are toxic, who are character disturbed. I know enough to get the hell away from them. These people are literally following me. Okay. So again, <laughs> um, and she was, she was like, I, I know, you know, so it, those, there's going to come a time in your walk phoenixes that, that you will, you will experience people who, who have chosen the side of evil and will not give up because that's the nature of their possession, demon possession that they unfortunately will have to be taken out. Like, I don't like that, to be honest with you. You think I would as many times as these people have literally tried to kill me. People have cut me off from uh, love relationships, uh, kept me isolated, 
kept me, you know, I mean, it, 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 whether I'm isolating, it's an induced isolation or whether it's an isolation that they're putting me under because they're creating a negative environment, a hostile environment for me and for other people. One thing that's been happening is because I'm sticking up for myself, other people, when you stick up for yourself, you're not, you know, you don't have to fight other people's battles. You don't even have to give them pointers because they see you. And here's proof. When I told this guy, because he had been there, he doesn't, didn't have a hotel room. He was just p pumping his gang colors. And I've told you guys about the gang, you know, the Mexican gang problem here in uh, the capital of California and uh, how they're insidiously taking over territory and making a utopia for themselves. Um, pardon me, I have a cough drop in. Um, so he was a nuisance and he would force himself. And this is what I'm saying. When you are in a relationship with a cluster B personality, you have two choices, fight or assimilate. Okay. Some people willingly assimilate. They will willingly take on cluster B characteristics and personalities and use their tactics. So the cluster B personality has, again, that's what flying monkeys are. It's like a mini me, like mini versions of the boss. You know, you ever played video games and you get this, this these guys, you know, are, are, are kind of the same, but they got this ability or this ability, right? And they're gonna attack such and such, right? So this guy was going around to different, you know, forcing himself on different people. And I mean, like literally there was prostitution. He was ushering people in. The gang was using him to usher, you know, to usher new recruits into the gang. I've seen it so many times where they recruit them and then these guys get on the streets and they start bullying. They start spying, right? These are the stalkers. They'll, they'll take the place of the, of the big kahuna, the one who's telling them, you know, giving them directives. Because of course, you know, with any gang members, they don't want to, they, they would rather send a child, a five-year-old, mess up their credit, mess up their, their, their uh, criminal record, right? Give them a criminal record. And that's what happened. So anyway, this guy, so anyway, I finally just said, I said, and I told him, I said real loud to everybody in that hotel, I said, I am here to live. I am not here to allow you to bully me. I didn't ask, you're bringing your trauma and your drama and your sickness to this hotel, no more. And I said, you are going to learn the hard way not to bully me. People heard that. Several people came out, asked if I was okay, so, you know, for, for a few days after this situation had happened, right? But the, the day before I had that, or the, the same day, but before I'd had that, that negative encounter, that confrontation with this old 50 year old gang member, quote unquote, uh, the succubus had shown up in her car. And for some reason, I think it was God blinding me because I had already said, I was so tired. And I said, I said, look, I said, Lord, I said, I know I want to be obedient to you, but I said, on principle, it's on site. If she comes to me physically in the flesh, trying to bully me and intimidate me, which is a lot of times cluster B personalities will do this because they're frustrated. Not only did, you know, did they lose power and did they lose credibility in their covenant or in their gang or both, right? In the, the little network, but they had to send other people that didn't work because those other people became too scared. 
because this, you know, whatever was, is, you know, basically they got their butts handed to them. And so now they're like, okay, well, I'm just running out of power. And because what Phoenix is, they have a grandiose sense of self. The narcissist is a, has a grandiose sense of self and eventually they will have, they will go through a rage and they will come for you because how dare you continue to resist them and the plans that they have for your life. Not giving regard. See, these guys don't care about, they don't, you are an object. You are a plaything, a toy. You animate when they want to, when they wind you up, you shut down when they want you to shut down. So this succubus came to me and parked in the, and I, and I was like, I, I recognized it. I was like, okay, there's, I, I'm paying attention to what my spidey senses are saying. I was like, Lord, I said, I feel cloudy. Somebody is trying to cloud my vision. Somebody is trying to zap my strength. Okay. Because I was, my, my brain was foggy. I'm like, what is this? Right. And of course I've, I've quit smoking. And so, you know, there's, there's some digestive issues cause you know, the smoking does affect your digestive system, your eyes, your brain, all that stuff. And of course your gut affects your brain. So just been doing a lot of healing and gratefully I have those tools and it's been just a slow process. I'm just letting the process go, but it's, it's been, you know, I thought, well, maybe that's part of the clock, the clock, uh, cloudiness or whatever. Cause I'm getting tired of everything being about rich witchcraft, you know? Um, I just like to have some normal adult things that, you know, I can take care of. Um, so anyway, I'm noticing that my, my brain is cloudy. I'm irritable and I'm feeling this per this, you know, this, uh, sometimes when you hear burning or ringing on your ears and actually I can feel a presence too. I can see a silhouette in the spiritual. And it was this, I, before I'd gone and taken out the dogs, I had somebody and I shoot them away, but I'd had somebody, uh, breathing negatively or speaking negatively on me in my ear. And I figured that it was the succubus. Again, she's mad because I rejected her. She does not take, she slanders and blasphemes and does all sorts of, of heinous things to people who reject her. I am, was no gun, not going to be any different. The only difference with me is, is that I'll turn it back on you, right? I made my declaration. I said, every lie that you tell about me shall come the truth shall come, uh, shall uh, be revealed about thee three times, three times, three times, three. So bless it be. You bet. Don't lie on me and expect to see people. You have to get, learn to call because you have to learn how important you are to the heavenly host, how important you are to the most high creator. When you get to know yourself, you get to know God. So, you know, I saw her and it's the weirdest feeling to have that cloudy veil, but recognize what's in front of you. If that makes sense, Phoenix is. I had like, my brain was cloudy, but when she popped up, I recognized the vehicle and I recognized her, but I didn't. To the point where I couldn't take action. Now, I don't know who that was, whether it was the most high or whether it was her, cause, and, but here's the thing when, uh, cause she parked in the driveway, like really like, you know, she was like, Oh, I'm sorry. Cause she thought we were going to go further. And I was like, no, I'm going to cut through. I'm just going to, you know, cut on the other side of this fence and I'm going to go through. Right. So she wasn't blocking our way with her vehicle. But what I saw was a white woman. This succubus is as dark as me. This Hispanic succubus is as dark as me, but I know that she, she suffers from colorism. So she's always trying to pretend that she's white. Right? Um, or more Spaniard looking, I guess. And um, that's exactly what I saw. Now, mind you, 
when we, when I, when I passed, she goes, Oh, I'm sorry. I was like, no, you're cool. You're good. We're going to, and I pointed to where we were going to go as if she was a stranger. Now it was so weird Phoenixes because I was so cloudy that I didn't recognize her, but I did recognize her. And it wasn't until, cause she's, because once we passed the full length of the car, about a foot away from the car, she speeds off. And I hear her say in her mind, she didn't recognize me. So I was talking to mama about that because I was like, I was so mad, but I was like, on the flip side, I'm not in prison. <laughs> you know, on the flip side, I'm not in prison. Um, and that's a good thing. Like I said, I don't take people, I don't, you, you know, when you threaten to kill my babies, which is what this succubus did on many occasions, when you're slandering me and telling people that I'm doing the most heinous things and that I'm not, I mean, there, it's just, it's, it was a whole, when you try and murder me because simply I will not have sex with you. Okay. That then there's, then that's a whole nother ball of wax and, and you try and pay people or do witchcraft on people in order for them to come after me, which is what she had done. So it was really bizarre. And this was when Mercury retrograde had just gone direct. It was the, on the date it was supposed to go direct. And I've always known it's like when Mercury retrograde starts to whip back around, sometimes that tail flicks real hard. So when she whipped back, all of a sudden, <laughs> I started having, well, during Mercury retrograde, like I was having people call up to the hotel asking about me or for me. I'm like, no, <laughs> I'm not interested. So anyway, and, and basically, again, let me get to it finally. <laughs> so basically I had, I had been going over this with mama God. And I said, look, I said, look, you know what I mean? It's like, I'm, it's, it's, if I wasn't a script writer and a filmmaker, a documentist, pardon me, I wouldn't be able to describe this, what I've been going through accurately. You know, I mean, that it's the scariest thing. Like when I was replaying in my mind's eye and me and the most high were having a, a conversation and I am, we're going through because I was being depressed. Like I'm not doing enough or maybe I shouldn't just, you know, maybe I should just give up. Right. Or, you know, try something different. I said, because I'm tired of being exhausted. I'm tired of being sabotaged. Everything that I'm, that I, that I do. And, uh, somebody said something, uh, Cindy trim said something, said something. I think, um, I think it was her or it was some, or it was another uh uh prophetess and they were talking about you know it's like you know when they sabotage you i had every every my they don't want to see you have an accomplishment phoenixes i have had them attack my body so that i would gain weight and so the intermittent fasting that i had done for over two and a half years would not show up i wouldn't make the progress that i was supposed to make You see, you know how frustrating that is when you know that you're, you're living a healthy lifestyle, but you're getting, they are projecting synthetically creating through witchcraft and dumping their own transferring and dumping their own health issues onto you. I have had people in my energy field so close and tight as if they're superimposing themselves into my body who have had COVID who have liver problems because of drinking and drugging who are smokers 
I mean, I actually saw what looked as either a white or a Mexican male with short brown black hair. And I could tell that he was a smoker. White t-shirt, kind of, you know, a little thick. And I'm like, who is this now? You see what I'm saying? Like when you really get deep into, into this and you start, because I asked for it to be revealed, right? Seek and ye shall find, knock and the door shall be open to you. I asked for it. I asked to know because I get tired of being kept in the dark though. I wanted to know. I wanted to have confirmed what my gifts, what purpose my gifts have so that I could appreciate them better. You know, so people are going to laugh at you because you say, okay, I heard what you said. I've been having ESP since, you know, I mean, 12, eight, nine, whatever. I would hear people's convers thoughts and I would finish their conversations, right? Cause I'm all, I can see things. I can see, you know, it just, it just, it's, it's, it comes natural. It's not a debate. I don't have to debate it. We don't have to debate our special gifts. We just have to learn how to enhance and deepen them and, and utilize them to protect ourselves and other people as necessary for the greater good. Okay. But you know, so, uh, you know, in talking to her about this, I was like, gosh, I mean, these guys have tried to kill me. I had, I would, uh, last year, mid September to about mid January, I was, I, I, I don't know what they exactly did. I don't know what the spell would be called. All I know is the weirdest thing when you're walking or you're talking on the phone and all of a sudden you get hit right? Because they're not respecting your time. They're not respecting your, your lifestyle. They're not respecting anything about you, right? They're what they're hoping that whatever witchcraft that they've done all of a sudden takes their hope. They're hoping that you don't have tools to send it back to them or to make it disperse to where it just gravitates back to them anyway, because it has to, what doesn't, what doesn't, what the, what the target doesn't accept has to go back to the conjurer. Whether the target sends it back consciously or not, it's going to go back to them. I've had them mess with my digestive system to where I couldn't pass, make, you know, have bowel movements where what my usual, I eating my big buckets of, of, uh, you know, spring fresh, you know, farm salads and stuff would taste like absolutely grotesque to me, but eating pizza and cookies, you know what I'm saying? I would hear them say, let's, let's, uh, may, I, I trying to do spells, uh, or doing a spell to, um, Send, to send me two years back as if I didn't make any progress. This is what I'm saying. When you can see them in the spiritual world, when you can feel their energy and tap into that energy to where it becomes something materialized, like not just them attacking you, but that you see what they're doing. You see their thoughts and their intentions. Like I said, these people, one's in San Francisco. The other one is in some other city and town, you know? So I'm nowhere around these people, but it is, it's been as if for the last three or four years going on now, almost five, as if these people are right next door to me, bad roommates, bad neighbors. But it's, if I wasn't in my authentic self, if I hadn't have done the work, I wouldn't have been able to recognize who, who these guys were and what they were doing because I wouldn't have trusted the, the still small voice. I wouldn't have trusted my guides because I would have been listening to other people tell me that I'm crazy or bipolar or whatever they use to dismiss because somebody dismissed it in them. So I was having this conversation with mama and she real she, she told me, she goes, it's just, it's just like, you know, when I say the case of curious case of Benjamin button, when we come in here, we're old souls be signifying how signifying our spiritual authority, right? Our Akashic records have been thick. That's what makes us seem like an old soul, but we're young as hell right? We're young as all get out, vibrant, flexible. That's why the devil will attack your mind to make you distrust what is in the Akashic records. If and make you believe like Google, if it doesn't come from us, 
it's not authentic. So if it comes from you and you're saying it, you don't have the authority because why? You don't have the certification. You don't have the diploma. You don't have any receipts that we have, have stamp, put our stamp on. Notice that when you, I mean, the, everybody, when you come into this world, that's what happens. They go about making you a product that they can put on the shelf because that's what cluster B personalities does do. That's what the narcissist does when they, they don't, they act like you're not even around them. You're in the same room, living in the same house, roommate, wife, husband, kids, uncles, nephews, parents, whatever you're in the same house. They don't even act like you exist. The only time they address you is when they want to get a rise out of you when they want to feed. And when they want to project their toxicity onto you, induced conversations, coercive control. So we come in here. You didn't ask for it. See, the, the, basically the, po the point of what, what mama said was that you didn't ask for it. You, it was already here. With the cluster Bs, with, this is the example. Like I said, I'm, I am nowhere around these, these two women who have been harassing me for three, you know, anywhere from, from three to five years. Nowhere around these women. When I cut them off, I cut them off. I don't go back. I never have. And I was reminiscing. I said, Lord, I said, I've never, I have never been the person that they have made me out to be. Think about this phoenixes. Think about this, like think about it, not trying to be in denial because that's a part of gaslighting. They'll use that. They'll say, oh, you're just in denial and da, da, da. No, 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 no. They told me that, you know, and I've used this example before. They told me that as a child in poverty, in a dysfunctional family, Living where I, where I lived, I mean, we didn't live in the ghetto ghetto. We were pretty, I guess we could be considered middle class, right? But they had ascribed, ascribed to me characteristics and qualities, diagnoses that I would have be ADHD, that I would be bipolar or whatever, whatever, whatever. You see what I'm saying? And sometimes that was not it. So I was supposed to draw things of that were impoverished. Like I hadn't read books that showed green, vibrant trees or hadn't walked to a park. You see what I'm saying? So when we come into this realm, the first thing that they try and would just like when you get into a relationship with a cluster B personality, the first thing they do, they ideal, they, 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 they investigate you. They, you know, they collect data on you, which is when you get in the hospital, what do they do? They collect data on you starting from that first smack, you know, starting from in the womb. And then when, when, you know, you're, you're birthed, when you come out the wormhole and you're birthed and they smack you, then that's another collecting data. Right. Where from, a, from probably, you know, from, from, you know, birth to about, a, you know, 12 years old, you're, you're all, all this data is, is being collected on you. And at each stage, you got a little, you got a little section. Okay. They've, they've, they've raised up to here. Now we're going to call you this. This is, these are the personalities that you're going to have. These are the, 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 the qualities that, that you're going to have. This is this, and this is that. So really what we're doing our whole time on here until we learn to tap out. See, for me, I didn't tap into a lot of the, of the bullcorn and they labeled me stupid, like no joke. They labeled me stupid or immature. They said I was grossly immature. Not everybody said this. I mean, like it wasn't like a, you know what I mean? People though, when I would talk, they was like, oh, you're just grossly immature. So here's a rapist or a pedophile uh, or a racist, you know? And sometimes it, they weren't even any of that. They were just mad because I was happy. Like I do, I can't tell you how many uh, at the time, like, you know, white males 
or actually Jewish males were so mad because I was happy. Like that look of rage in their eyes. And I asked, I said to mama, I said, you know what? When I think about this, because I know what I know, what I know now, you know, with these women who are upset because narcissists will act like the victim. They will get depressed. They will pine for sympathy. They will make accusations that can't be backed up. They will transfer their toxic behavior to you or anybody else. You know, they'll, 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 they'll say that they want to talk, but really they just want to accuse. I remember having one of these uh, uh, people talk about, oh, well, Hitler would be proud because Hitler had some ideas and I, you know, she didn't like my politics and my politics is, are my politics. I don't give a shit who likes them, you know? It's not up to debate. I evolve. I con am constantly growing. I am constantly evolving. Always have been. And I've always, I haven't always appreciated that in myself until running, you know, coming uh, up against these people, these creatures who are into witchcraft, who will do freezer jar spells, who will do funeral spells, who will do domination spells, right? To, to constrict your movement and make you a Pavlov dog of sorts. Try to, you know? So what mama was saying is, is that we are born into this. Some of us are aware that this is not, this is a toxic place. Like, oh, this is the best planet. No, it's not. No, it's not. You know, we make the best out of it. It's us earth angels. It's our spiritual warriors who make the best out of it. We are the salt of this earth, which we don't belong. We are in the earth, but we are not of it. We are in the earth, but we are not of it. You know, another thing I thought about, I said, God, it's like, you know what? And, and, and like, again, if I didn't know better, I would have been taking on these guilt trips that these guys are now trying to do because they've lost and they're holding on to dear life by trying to, by contemplating on taking mine. That's what I heard. That's what, that was the attempt, you know, and I'm not exaggerating. It's just, it is what it is. And I, I you know, I talk to uh, some people say, well, gosh, you know, you talk so nonchalantly because this is every day. This has been every day. There is not a day except for lately, which is why I'm freaking out. Like I almost, I thought I was going to have like a, like a nervous breakdown or something because which made me aware of how much many of us Phoenixes have been bombarded with demonic energy, right? Like I even had to, to take a step away from TikTok and, and some people, you know, some actors and actresses that I like or whatever, cause I'm, you know what I mean? And just focus, just refocus. I'm not posting as much, you know, but when most high says, okay, go ahead and talk about this. So now it's, I'm starting to build back up again. Right. And so, you know, um, plus I want to keep producing content for you guys. And so we can get to know each other. We can build that bond. We can build that, that community for Phoenix rising Academy. I'm not doing coaching right now. Um, because I'm still setting up I'm I'm setting up to rebrand. And, uh, so right now I'm just giving you uh, just, you know, talks as, as God downloads the wisdom into me and my, my journey, because this is a lifetime process until we transition onto another planet plane. Okay. So, um, in a whole, if it's, if this is benefiting you, Phoenixes, please let me know in the comments, right? Let me know what you guys are going through and, you know, so that we can talk about it, right? It's free. Basically it's free coaching, right? Um, and thank you guys. I just take a break and say, thank you guys for supporting me on my YouTube and my TikTok. Um, thank you so much for the, uh, I think it's like 116 subscribers here on YouTube. Thank you so much. I, I just appreciate you guys. You guys really don't know. It has been an uphill battle to build this channel. It has been, uh, I mean, <laughs> it has been a battle just to stay breathing. It, I mean, like I, I'm not, I'm not kidding. It's, it's, it's been a battle and I have shed a lot of tears in determination 
to live my purpose of helping people, of coaching people, of being that gap, that, that bridge between the gap of your authentic self and, and, and your false self. I share with you guys what it is that I go through, not to make you feel sorry for me or to, or anything, but just to let you know that it's possible to get through it. It's not fun. Some it's, it's spirituality, you know, and I, that's another, uh, so just to finish. So anyway, um, again, I do thank you guys. Please continue to support. If you guys want to do a donation, go to my link tree in the, uh, uh, in the, um, description and they'll just look on what's on there and uh, you'll see where you can give a blessing. I greatly appreciate it because the next thing I'm working on is my documentary. So I probably will not be sharing once I get my Mac upgraded, <laughs> I'm going to be working on my documentary. So I'm writing right now. I'm writing a book. I'm writing a script. Um, and I'm low key. I am just low key and you know, social media has been so hard for me. So that's really why I, 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 um, love word to mouth and you guys sharing my, my posts or whatever. Um, even if you want to support, support me by, uh, becoming a Patreon, I have a lot of, uh, uh, two tiers on Patreon, which I may change just to one. Um, and you can go check that out also in, uh, the description, uh, the link tree in the description and uh, it's two tiers and you guys get positive affirmations um, from me that you can play at night and this is what I do. This is how I survived the bombardment and people telling me that I was worthless and stupid and fat and ugly and dumb and wouldn't amount to anything and because, you know, mad because I wouldn't have sex with them, mad because I wouldn't uh, 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 subscribe to, you know, their multiple personalities or, or become a character in their, in their tragedy, right? I was writing my own, rewriting my own life. And so, uh, you know, I would weigh part of witchcraft again is that they, when they can't get you in the physical, they will attack you in the spiritual and how they attack you is by getting through your sub to your subconscious mind. How do you get to somebody's subconscious mind? You direct negativity at them when you know that they are asleep. If they are astral projectors or remote viewers, they're watching you watch behind her eyes. Okay. That describes what I've been going through in a nutshell, like in a nutshell. Okay. And I'm not giving it away. Go. It's on Netflix. If you guys got Netflix behind her eyes, go watch that. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, so in the, so you get, uh, affirmations, you get just some easy listening music some sounds, some oceans, you get scripture, um, warfare prayers that I say, right. In my daily practice, I don't subscribe to religion, but I am very spiritual, right? I'm a spiritual being having a human experience in a dimension that wants to spew me out like a virus because I'm not assimilating, which many of us are not. Okay. So we need that extra comfort. That's what I provide for you guys are the same things that have helped keep me strong, help keep me faithful so that, you know, you can listen to those. Um, I've started to, uh, where if you want to help clearing your chakras, your chakras, all right. Pronunciation is key. If you, if you want help with your, your clearing your chakras, then I'm, you know, have sounds on that. I just stopped. So you guys have to bear with me because I'm a one man, one, one person operation and I have multi, I'm multiple, I'm multi-talented. So, and I am so grateful because what I learned is when the, when the devil sabotages me in one area of, of creativity, I go to the other one so that I'm, you know what I mean? And also being creative and being in your purpose, especially if it's creative it, or anything, right? It just, it helps you to heal by being creative. So, um, so yeah. And then you get, uh, the, the, there's workshops, um, that I'm just going through that I've posted for you guys. And I'm probably going to make change the workshops and make a third tier of just workshops. And those will probably be, um, about $12 a month. 
for you guys if you want to subscribe to that and those are just those are workshops that i'm mini workshops that i'm get that i'm providing for you guys so th that way you don't have to do a zoom call or whatever you just do it 12 dollars a month and i'm just going to keep uploading workshops as they go right um so that way it's working on your mind because the devil attacks your mind demonic entities attack your mind they create confusion and illusions as i said i did not see that woman for who she the the creature that she was the real authentic me recognized her it was weird seeing the veil that she had pr to protect herself but and then when she left she said she didn't recognize me but she sounded disappointment disappointed so it's like why are you going to be disappointed because you put a smoke screen you put a fail veil over there because you knew that if i recognized you it was going to be bad for the both of us you know um so it's helping when you know what you're thinking about you have power to remove right remove those toxic thoughts that are being directed towards you so um the, the whole thing about these workshops is getting into what you're thinking about it's all surrounded on about the mind you know the battlefield is your mind like joyce meyer has has a book out about that too you can get that off of youtube too you know the battlefield of the mind is 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 what her book is called and uh, so you can listen to the audio book on on youtube and uh, she has been a great teacher for me too. And that's what I have found because everything that they thought I was insecure about or I, you know, I had to deal with. And because I resisted the devil by working on me, he had to flee and go to something else. And that's what I, my, I am in the business of freedom. That is what I do. I am a transformational coach and an art coach, but I'm in the business. The core of it is getting you free. When you get sessions from me, when you get workshops from me, anything, the product or service in regards to Phoenix Rising Academy is in the bit is going to be is geared towards setting you free from the chains that bind you, whether you realize it or not. So if you want, go check out the Patreon. So I also got on one tier TikTok lives that were really important that we had some deep discussions about supernatural, metaphysical, you know, uh, uh, things, spiritual things and warfare and things of that nature. So reading some articles by some of my favorite uh, 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 narc uh, 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 counselors um, and just, you know, things that are out there that uh, I know that everybody can, you know, is, is probably thinking about. It's like the beautiful thing about this time, Phoenix is, is that we are deeply awake. It's not being woke, it's being, uh, it's being reactivated in some cases, right? Because I know I was a dormant dragon for a minute, dormant dragon, because I was just tired. You know, and I went through that again and how to see if I didn't have the tools, the tools that I'm sharing with you guys, Phoenixes, because you get exhausted. That's another thing that I was sharing with Mama God. I was like, look, I am so tired of feeling like I got to be in warrior mode 24 seven because I when you get cluster bees who obsess so much that they have to continue to attack you. You know, I have, there's people, there's, <laughs> there's sometimes Phoenixes, there's not a day that goes by that I am not feeling dizzy, that I'm not having a headache, that I don't feel, you know, uh, somebody sending me something negative that my stomach doesn't turn or that my, my digestive system, my, my, my intestines don't feel like <clears throat> they're turning in knots or I feel like I can't swallow. Right? Because these guys are always obsessed. What is she doing? Who is she spending? The weirdest thing is, is that, and in, in see, when you, any time that you doubt, and I'm going to do another uh, thing on this, but I want to use my, authentic, my real mic um, when I go back home to the hotel. Uh, because th I think this gives me better sound quality, but there's always an echo to it. So forgive the echo. Um, but when, when God tells me to speak, I'm going to speak on it, you know? Um, but God did say, just wait on that. Just, you know, so just, 
it was basically I was making these the YouTube thumbnails to to remind me that yeah this is a topic that we need to talk about right because I'm not the only one going through this right and but not everybody has the ability to bring themselves out of a drought emotional drought pardon me energetic drought right and so that's what we have to be grateful for. Once we gain those tools, it's like, you know what? I'm so grateful that I have the tools, right? So what the most high was saying, let me finish what, what the most high was saying. It's like, you came into this, you were in the world. You're not of it. They attacked you and you resisted. This is why you don't take on other people's stuff. You don't compare yourself to other people because you, you're not, they're, they didn't, they didn't go through, have to go through what you went through. A lot of people say, Oh gosh, I wish I was farther. I should be farther. You're judging yourself. All of a sudden you feel guilt and shame, not realizing one thing that I, that I realized is that I had nothing to do with a lot of stuff that, that people were throwing on to me. Because when you come in to this world and you're already elevated, curious case of Benjamin Button, your old soul, you're an old spirit. You have a lot. Your Akashic records are thick. The first thing that they do is, is come and strip you and keep, you get to keep what they can manipulate, but they break you down by attacking your mind, by getting you to believe something about yourself that is not true. I've already learned, uh, used examples in my own, uh, from childhood on how I was, was taught that, okay, you're this and you're this. And I would say something different, but see, I wasn't being black enough. It wasn't black people at first who told me that I wasn't black enough. It was Jewish folks. And you know, that was what was in my environment. So it was Jewish teachers who were telling me, oh, well, that doesn't sound, you know, black enough. I have this friend right? Who she's African American and you know, she speaks like this, right? And when you don't sound like that, when you don't do things the way that, that is, that are ascribed to you because they've done some tests, Right. And they, 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 uh, tested, uh, 200 people and, you know, half of them did this and, and did that. And they came to such and such conclusion and you fit that mold. That's like a police officer saying you look like somebody we're looking for. Isn't it the same thing? We're coming after you because you look like somebody we're looking for. And that person looks nothing like them. Nothing. Many of us have been ascribed characteristics and qualities and features to the where that we've mold, we've actually manifested it ourselves because the intensity of the projection. I'll give you an example. One of these uh, uh, broads was doing, uh, uh, has been doing uh, picture magic on me. Okay. They've been depressed because, you know, she's, this is the sucky, but she's been, she's been depressed. I can feel it. It's like, okay, I don't, but don't stop projecting. So I have to constantly cut myself off from being projected onto by her. Right. This is a person, this is a person that with the scary thing about this one and all of them really is because number one, they're doing it in the spiritual realm. But they're trying to sound as if they're like a guide or intuition. They're trying, it's like, she's trying to replace my intuition. She made a thing. She was trying to get me to, uh, uh, go back a couple years now and into a U-Haul. I'm like, okay, but God wouldn't want me to see. And if I didn't know, have a relationship with the most high creator, I would have done it because I was like, yeah, I could save up money, but then, you know, uh, constructive, thinking, critical thinking, you know, God doesn't say don't critical think you can still rely on the most high God, but you could use your own critical thinking. That's what you, that's what he gave it to you. So 
So I said to myself, I said, wait a minute. I said, God, I said, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have me go backwards. Right. Remembering too, that the other person did a witchcraft spell for me to go two years back. So that way I would make no progress and I would be back at that time. I would have been back on the streets where I was pliable, where that person could send people and watch me, right? She would watch me from a distance, from different vehicles. Go tell people to make fun of me in some way, shape or form, cause me trauma, disrupt my peace. Do incantations or witchcraft spells on me. This is what this, imagine somebody spending their fucking time to do this to somebody else. Here I am. I'm at the time. I think I was working two jobs or no, I was working. Well, yeah, one time I was working two jobs and then I was working 56 to 60 hours. Now I know this person is on social security disability. They don't work. They, you know, you DJ for, you know, a couple places and you get 300. I know how much you can make on disability. You can't make a whole bunch. Whether you got your own business or not. You see what I'm saying? But using witchcraft even to try and to manipulate the system while you, they were attacking me from getting any type of welfare benefits to help me out and I actually needed it. You see the sickness of people who want you to be stuck to the point where they're, if they can't get you then in the physical, if you, you know, all this stuff, then they're going to try and, and, and kill you, deteriorate your body. You know what I mean? All this stuff. So this is why I do, I have all these videos on my Patreon, right? To help, elevate your mood, elevate your consciousness, give you tools so that you can have warfare or get psychological terrorism. But it's just like with the gang stalking, you don't, you come to a city, you don't know what's going on in that city. They keep you, they put you off guard. And then all of a sudden it's your fault. Right. And all of a sudden it's your fault because you're being stalked. It's your fault because they're targeting, they're, they're trying to kill you. But it's really, when you look at it, see, when we stop taking on other people's demons, the picture becomes clear that we take responsibility for what's ours. But when you actually understand the system and where we live, not just the cluster B personalities who live in the system that they've created to make habitable for themselves. That's all this, this place is doing. Phoenix is people say, Oh, we're in an inflation. Yeah. Because all the people, the 1% have pulled their money out and they're getting ready to, this was already staged. This was already predicted. That's why they were talking about what was it like in 2000 and, and, uh, uh, 10, 14, 15, something like that, where they were talking about times up. And they were trying to, they were saying, you know, time's up and me too movement Co coincided together. But that's double speak because time's up meant that, okay, we're out of here now. We've used this place up. Rome, what did they do? They got out because why? They had used the place up. And every place that these certain people have had inhabited, these two parasitic tribes have inhabited, they leave. Look at history. So that's what I was told. And that's what I want to pass on to you guys. You, we were born into this stuff. This was, this was always going to be an in, inhospitable environment for us because we're in the world. We're in the earth plane, this is not our home though. This is not where we're supposed to be. You didn't ask for this. It's you weird. It's, it's like being stuck in somebody else's night nightmare. Uh, when I, what is it called? Splinter cell or something with uh, J Lo, And she was in this, the serial killers, uh, pedophiles, uh, uh, mind. Right. Trying to get to the, the many, uh, 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 
levels to his brain to find his core authentic self. I mean, that was actually a great movie. I did. I didn't appreciate it. I appreciated it aesthetically, but I didn't appreciate it. Uh, what the story was talking about. So, I mean, here, this is a, a, a narcissistic psycho sociopath, right? He had trauma and she was in there. They had some new technology and she was in there in his mind. And this is what I felt like on this whole journey. I'm in somebody else's mind that, you know, a lot of times when we're in these abusive, uh, uh, relationships, uh, with, with, and again, I'm not in, I've never been in a relationship with any of these women make, made the mistake of saying hi, made the fucking mistake of saying hi <laughs> to one, right? Another one was, had, was exploiting my being homeless, my, my vulnerability. That's what they do. I had no idea that they would be obsessed over me though for two, three, four, five years. Had no idea. Now I do. So anyway, um, so basically if you guys are feeling this like, gosh, you know, I feel overwhelmed. Like I, you know, like I've done something wrong or whatever. I feel this shame or guilt. No, that's not yours. Actually cr cr create a uh, constructively break it down to see if it is take what is yours. Like I said, I take my, my clients through and I'm not taking any clients right now, but, um, if you guys want, we can, we can do a live session, but, um, I take my clients through reveal four stages, reveal, heal, grow and show. So revealing is what, when, where, who, why, how, because when you know better, you do better. When you see yourself as you actually are, when I see my own toxicity, I can fix it. But I, when you look at something like this, let's say you take a scene from you, because this is what the most I did when I was on the streets, because I asked, well, I want purge me, basically. And when they started doing that, it was like, here's this scene I see in pictures. Okay? So here's this scene. And the most high is showing me, okay, this is what that happened. And this is what you did, right? For instance, the most high showed me that anytime when there is a lull in the attacks from the gang stalkers, right? Uh, and TI targeted individuals can, can relate to this. When there is a lull in the, in the, in the, where the gang stalkers pretty much get tired, right? And they don't know what else to do. So they're just, they stop for a minute and you get that breather and your life starts feeling natural and normal. There's anxiety. There's anxiety. And that tri has triggered me. So I had to admit God showed me and I said, yep, I do. Cause what I'll do is I'll go, I'll see something, I'll get triggered and I'll react to it. I'll cuss people out or whatever. And God was like, don't do that. Stop doing that. Get, get used to, because it's, because there's, they're going to be out of your life. And there's a lot of healing that needs to be done. This area in, in the site office smells like poo poo. And I was wondering to myself earlier, sorry to get distracted. I was wondering to myself earlier, it's like, why does this smell like poo poo? Like somebody just farted in, in there, you know? But, um, you know, God was telling me, don't do that. So, you know, but that's revelation from the most high that you get about you, not what somebody else tells you about you. Right. Because a lot of times we get duped. We say, okay, this person can see into me. They did that. You know, they got, they got that right. That is what the most high. So that must be confirmation. No, <laughs> not necessarily because if you let him, People can start off saying what they know that you need to hear. Like tarot readers will say, oh, this isn't always, this isn't for everybody. This is a general discussion. Well, all you do is general readings. Why is it the only thing that you do?
you know? They'll say, oh yeah, this is a general reading and so I'm just telling the truth. No, you're not telling the truth. You know, <laughs> it's not, <laughs> it's an impression that you're getting. Because when you're not directing it specifically, then you're picking up any and everything. You're picking up psychic debris. You know? So, uh, but, you know, so you have to be careful because there's different ways to manipulate you spiritually. Right? If, you know, so anyway, um, I'm getting a little tired now. <laughs> But yeah, so I, I, you know, when it started to calm down, God, God had to chastise me and say, Hey, chill out, dude. Like, you know, and, the, the, and she said this to me before and I was like, ah, it's so hard. But again, it's not beating yourself up. This world was built against you, not for you. Understand that Phoenix, the world was built against you, not for you. Does not mean that you can't create a niche for yourself and for other people, but it just means that you have to start looking at it through the uh, spiritual eyes from your place of royalty in the spiritual realm, which is your authentic self, which is your God self. You look at your, you look at your existence from that, not from what people tell you, because people are going to tell you whatever it is that they think is going to keep you engaged with them. Okay, so that's what I was shown. I know there's a long way of saying it, but that's what I was shown. It's like, you know, basically God said, it's like, you know, like you came into this. I didn't expect, I didn't ask, that's what, again, that's what I've said before. The narcissist brought trouble to you. You didn't ask for it. Imagine the narcissist is like a blend, is like a grinder. And you're the coffee bean. The only thing the narcissist knows how to do is to grind people down to nothing and then discard them when they got a bug because they have to build themselves back up, but they don't want you to pro They don't want you to make progress or enjoy the journey of healing, of growing. They don't want you to enjoy the journey. I found that out. Like I said, I have been on this deeper uh, 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 section of my, my spiritual growth. And I have, I have like the warfare is real. Like they have been at my head, literally, literally at my head, in my head. Like if we can take God away from you, if we can make you think that you're nothing. And here's the thing with me is, is I've never thought that I was a big shot, but I know, and this is what God revealed to me. You always had a good self-esteem. That's what pissed people off. You were just a realist. I'm a realist. I'm a minimalist and I'm a realist. And I'm humble. Right. I don't like, I mean, you'll never catch me out there bragging about something. I, it doesn't feel right. I'll be happy because I got something or because I accomplished something. But even, you know, the narcissists in my life have taken that away because they think it's punishment. We're going to control you where, however we fucking can. You can only be, I mean, like literally I had this, I had the, the, uh, you know, the San Francisco, uh, uh, character disturbance, <laughs> uh, you know, like, who are you dating? Why are you so happy? I could feel her breathing down my neck, bitch, because it's my life, because I'm grateful that you didn't get to kill me. And it's not for her lack of trying. I can't tell you how many attempts with cars vehicles to kill me or run me and my, and my fur babies over death rituals that have been done several multiple times, mind you multiple times. One thing that God reminded me of, and I'll, I'll quit with here. Cause I, I was just trying to search and, and uh, cause I know that I wasn't supposed to end right there, but this is what God said. It's like, cause I was frustrated and I, and, and I was like, gosh, you know, 
And so after we went through this, it's like God said, I wanted you. It's like, I know what she put you through. I know what these gang stalkers have put you through. I know what these witches and warlocks and Santa Muerte worshipers have put you through. I know what these Zionists have put you through. I know what your family put you through. I know it. I wanted you to get to know it. So that way you can see where it was that I carried you when you only saw one set of footprints and where it was when you saw two, that uh, two, three, four, or five, that we were, your, your tribe was with you fighting on your behalf, fighting with you. Cause I've had these guys in my energy field talking at me that I, you know, telepathically and that I could hear every once in a while. And the other day, somebody said, you know, to the point where I was like, okay, is this you mama? I was like, look, I, I we, y'all need to talk, you know? And a lot of times how you get out of that is by you praise more. You do gratitude more, right? You get into, you raise your, keep raising your vibration to that love vibration where God is. See, Satan is not love. Satan is not love. So I had to go in hard and this is not the first time you will find that several times on your, in your, your spiritual journey, Phoenix is on in this plane, in this realm of existence, that you will be exhausted, that you will start to doubt. The thing of it is, is recognizing when you're starting to feel sorry for yourself, when you're starting to get mad at the most high creator, when you're starting to profess negative shit over your life, when you're starting to, you know, to, to start getting into that self-fulfilling pro uh, prophecy, what you have, what you, the, to the step to take is, oh, recognize it. You recognize it by rec by being honest with yourself from the beginning when you're doing your work. So when you recognize it, you get in there and you say, okay, woo, all right, thank you, God. And I, I, I didn't even mean it. Because a lot of times, sometimes they're capping. They're capping your crown chakra. Get some eggshell powder and some, uh, uh, it's a floor wash, but I, uh, it's, it's, it has all these uh, herbs and, and things of that nature in it. I mix it together form a cross on your third eye for form a cross on the back of your neck. So nobody can penetrate your thoughts and nobody can enter. Use your spine as a port of, of, of as a, a portal basically of entry into you. And I'm talking because I, this, th this one lady who thinks that she's God, she, the one thing that she does and she just, I'm not the only one. She body swaps. She'll, she'll hop into other people's body into other people's energy field. And she comes in through the spine. I've watched her do it to me several times. And I've been like, what the hell? One time she blindsided me so hard. This was last year. I mean, like a lot of stuff happened last year. This is when they tried, they did a death spell on me. I think she was trying to kill my soul so she could take over my body and therefore get my birthright. Like I don't make this stuff up, man. Again, I am so glad that I'm a filmmaker and a, and, a, and a script writer and just a writer, you know? You could think that it's sci-fi fantasy if you want to, but sci-fi fantasy comes out of reality, real experiences. But that's what this person did. But that's what God wants you to, wants you to know, though. It's like once you start seeing everything for what it is, and do, you know, when you start getting depressed and disappointed and it's like, gosh, you know, did I miss my chance or whatever? I missed my opportunity. No, cause some, that's what I thought. I missed my opportunity and I started getting that bitterness and I didn't want to, you know, but I, I, it seeped in, it seeped in hardcore. You know, because I had known everything that I had gone through. I had known all the death threats, the death attempts to kill me, to let, you know, to kill my babes. I mean, like, I can't, I don't make this stuff up. These guys have been trying to destroy me. And I know a lot of you Phoenixes rising can, can understand that, can relate to that. Where you just have things and situations or all of a sudden your body starts being contorted, you know? And I don't know about you, but when people are throwing negativity, if I was, if something hostile is going on in front of me, I have a physical reaction. My body shuts down. My digestive, you know, gets tight. My chest gets tight, right? And you thinking, it's like, okay, well, why am I having these things? Some of it is your nervous system, right? That needs to be prepared and healed, healed. your vagus nerve, all of that. 
You can do that. But when you've already been on that healing journey and all the, and you're still not making progress, why? Because somebody is in your energy field, still projecting something at your picture, at your videos, telling you all this toxic crap, doing rituals, doing sacrifices on you. So you're, it's, it, you're, there's, you're, your body is going through it as if somebody were beating you. Right. But God wanted me. So, so then I was talking to guys like, okay, well, why, why haven't you been there? You know, when that happened, it's like, well, because I gave you tools. See, sometimes again, I've said this before when the, and I just remembering myself, like I said, God was like, look, you got to look at this. When have I been there for you? Right. When you can turn it around, when you feel yourself getting into depression, start thinking about everything that is positive, turn off all the news and TV, watch something happy, raise your vibration, raise your vibration. Ask for revelation, ask for wisdom, ask what, what is the next indicated step? That's why I said, it's like, Lord, I don't know where to go, but show me where to go. Because it, it, you know, it dawned on me sometimes when we think we miss out on something, sometimes God will use that to flush out your enemies. You were never supposed to go to so-and-so you were never supposed to move that in that direction. So it never bottomed out. You never failed. See, cause God knows what your enemies are doing. He can see them. So if he knows what your enemies are doing and they know, cause and God brought this up to me too. For my situation, he's like, you know, I knew, I told you, I'm the one that told you that it wasn't you. You already knew that this wasn't your fault. You already knew that it was coming from your enemies. Your enemies blocked you from making progress You're in so many different ways. I gave you blessings and they, they swooped them up. Pardon me. And I am always, and as I said, it's like, you know, we were so close and it, it took me away from God because I was like, whoa, okay. I thought we had a real partnership here. I can't be on 24 seven, right? Cause I'm not evil. I cry. I feel, I love, I nurture, I grieve. I pray for other people, not for whatever I think that they need, but just whatever God, just, you know, just basic stuff of protection, of love, of light. You know, God can sort that out. I'm not God. So I don't know what you need, but I'll sure as heck say, call forth angels to surround you and protect you. I don't have that intensity for evil. And that's not a bad thing. I had one of my stalkers and say, well, no, you don't got it in you. Like it was some type of, of, of disability, you know, like good, good. I don't got it in me to rape children. Good. I don't got it in me to be uh, into bestiality. Good. I don't got it in me to prostitute underage girls or to sex traffic anybody or to participate in that in any way, shape or form to stalk or harass anybody, to slander anybody to do witchcraft, to do death spells on people that I don't even know. Just because I don't like that they're happy or because they won't sleep with me. I'm grateful for that. I am very grateful for that because for a while, I mean, there's been times where I have felt the negativity, the evil kind of seething. And I'm like, God, is this inside of me? Cause, cause if it is, we got a problem, you know? Or is it around me or is it just waiting, lurking? So I know this is long guys, but you know, I just wanted to, just wanted to share that with you because just when, when you think that, you know, nothing's getting, something, something's happening right now, we're just supposed to coast, right? We're just, we're just supposed to lay back, get your healing, 
you know? That's what I'm just like, I, you know, again, just to finish off, it's like what God said was like, okay, no, they blocked you last year. They blocked you that whole year, right? And towards the end of the year, they attempted to, to kill me, you know? So I understand, I mean, it's not a joke when people are engaging in witchcraft. Plus these, you know, there are, there are cultures who this is a part of their life using love spells and domination spells and death spells to get back at their enemy, to get back at the lover who abandoned them at the altar and all this stuff. This is cultural shit. You know, this is sometimes it's for what the culture does. It's not being racist. If your culture engages in voodoo dolls and stuff, and that's why I can't, I can't stand it now. When people are talking about, oh yeah, uh, you're trying to demonize. This is what my ancestors did. Da, 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 da. <laughs> you better be careful because right now they're getting back everything that they've gotten in because right now the enemy is upset that you survived. They're upset that you're looking good, that you're feeling good, that you're smelling good, they're upset. They're upset that you love yourself. They're upset that you love the most high because you know yourself. They're upset that they can't be you. We've seen witchcraft play out. I have witchcraft being done on me every single day. Every time I get on here, before I used to get on... Um, TikTok, and I would have uh, both of them. It's just so exhausting, <laughs> but I still kept doing it. <sighs> but I would have these guys come into my ear, and I could hear them, you know, talking, and and that's why I started just like, okay, well, if you want to, you want to be on my live so bad, then I'll put your picture up here. You know, I'm not trying to be petty. But I want to show them, it's like, no, I'm not, you're not, get out of my space. Get out of my energy. Leave me alone. And sometimes that's what you need to do with people. You know? So, keep up your vibration. I know a lot of us are exhausted. A lot of us are tired of this battle because it's never ending. And, you know, we've been, since last year too, it's like these guys were not giving up. You could feel it in the spiritual realm. It's like, okay, we're going to go harder. And it manifests as gang stalking, you know, in the physical world. And all you see is zombies. That's the zombie apocalypse right there. It's all these people who are being demon, taken over, possessed by demons. So do not give up, phoenixes. Do not give up on anything that was promised to you, just know that God has divine timing and that you've done all that you can. So now is the time to stand. And stand means keep moving forward. Love on you. Take time for you. Take a bath, right? Take a, you know, take a love on yourself. Do those things that are going to have self-care. Become a Patreon member and start listening to the affirmations right? That I've put down there, some with music, some not with music. Okay. Listen to the, 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 uh, higher frequency music, clear, learn how to clear your chakras on, on, uh, on that I uh, putting up there, right? Focus, just focus and know that no weapon formed against you is going to prosper, that you're right there at the finish line. Okay. Your blessings are in your ashes, phoenixes rise.